Hey yo, what is up FPG fam? Further here and welcome back to another snow break video. So this is essentially a redo to my Cyrus guide, my full breakdown for this four star operative in my prior video that I have now since taken down. I had some misinformation in there and if you know or if you've been on the channel for any amount of time, you know I take that very seriously and I don't want to have any misinformation on my channel whatsoever. Now to go ahead and clarify what that misinformation was, it was in regards to her logistics. This was simply an oversight by myself, but once again, I do take that very seriously and I want to make sure everybody is well informed and I'm not misleading anybody when I do these guides or I talk about a character in depth. Now if we go over to the logistics, the one that I had was the Kaufman Squad where it increases shield acquisition and when shields are active increases ballistic damage. I thought this would be considered the best in slot or at least one of the best logistics set that you can put on Cyrus because I was under the assumption that everything she does in her, in her support skill and in her ultimate is considered a shield but I did have somebody bring it up to me. Massive shout out to you. You know who you are. LJ DMB. I probably butchered that, but you know who you are. Brought it up and brought it to my attention that it's not necessarily a shield per se, even though it looks like a shield and acts like a shield. It apparently is not considered a shield. It is more of a damage reduction or a damage absorption technique or skill, I should say. And so it's not technically considered a shield. So that logistics set technically would not work. So that was an oversight by myself. And, and I do apologize. I did take the video down. You can no longer watch that one. And I wanted to go ahead and redo this one for you guys with the correct information. If you go over to the recommendation for Cyrus in terms of the logistics, the four star is going to increase ballistic damage and increase kinetic ballistic damage, which makes sense. And then the five star is actually what they recommend is the max U energy of the full squad by 32 and then increases U energy recovery of full squad by 28%. And then after equipping operative uses their ultimate skill recovers 20% of U energy consumed. So this one I can see working out really well. In that prior video, I did say there's probably some other logistics that you can slot in that work really well. And I think that one is definitely an optimal one that you could put on her. Because that's going to be great for your team to be able to get their ults a lot quicker. Especially pairing her with what I would consider one of her best partners, Chen Xing. And getting her ult as quickly as possible is going to be really good. So with that out of the way, I did want to go ahead and essentially redo the guide at this time. I want to go over her kit. I want to break it down for you guys and give you my thoughts and impressions on this operative once again. So if you've seen that video already, this might all sound familiar. But if this is your first time here and the first time seeing this video, welcome. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for entertaining me. I hope you get some value from today's video. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So Cyrus, now I've been using her even more than that prior video, and I think she's phenomenal. I think the developers did such a great job with her kit. She seems very well balanced, but she is a universal operative that you can put on any team because of that damage absorption and that damage reduction. She just has such great utility. And once again, I think they did a phenomenal job, not only with her kit, but with her design. I think she's one of the best looking operatives in the game to date. So if we go over to her standard skill. Essentially, she's going to go ahead and create a, I can't say a shield. She's going to create a blessing around herself, reducing damage taken by 25% and then improving her ignore interruption ability. And then when she dodges, she gains reborn eye effect. And that's going to apply the aptitude of bone eater to her next shot, adds kinetic damage to her shot. She is a kinetic shotgun user. If we go over to her support, this is where you're probably going to get the most value from her because you're most likely not going to be using her on point. Even though you can, she can do some pretty good damage just being a shotgun user in general, but she has some other utility within her neural skills to allow her to output some more damage. But you're probably going to have her be in the support role most of the time because she's a great support for your main damage dealer, your main DPS. Now, this one is going to deploy the deceased protection to a fixed location in front of her, blocking enemy fire. So it's just a gigantic wall that is going to block the enemy's fire coming in. If we go over to her ultimate, she's going to create a birth dome protecting herself and repelling surrounding enemies. When birth dome is in effect, increases protective operatives movement speed by 20%, reduces damage taken by 20% and improve ignore interruption ability once again. So you're going to get even more ignore interruption. There's just a lot of utility within this ultimate. It's doing a lot, increasing movement speed, reducing damage taken, ignore interruption, a little bit CC with repelling the surrounding enemies. So the ultimate is a really good one. And then you pair that with the logistics that we went over and you have yourself a nice little setup, a little wombo combo right there. 
Now, if we go over to the passive, each time an operative uses a skill, increases Cyrus's max HP by 0.75%. This is really good because everything that is damage reduction or damage absorption is based off of her HP. So, for example, this uh, standard skill here, 150% or the support, excuse me, 150% of Cyrus's max HP. If we go over to the ultimate, 70% of Cyrus's max HP. So the damage reduction and damage absorption is based off of her HP. So that being increased is very nice. Now increasing an additional 0.1% for each 100 alignment index, max 30 stacks. So really good stuff that we have going on there. Her manifestations are really good as well. Most of them are going to be playing into her damage reduction or damage absorption. And then the last two are really for increasing her own damage. So the first one I think is extremely pivotal and important to have on this operative in particular when deceased protection ends which is the support skill the operative on the field obtains initial blessing for five seconds now the initial blessing gained this way does not obtain the reborn eye effect when dodging essentially when the shield or the wall that you put up goes away the operative that's out gets a personal shield around themselves for five seconds so this is just going to add to her utility and her viability on teams. Now, any operatives for M2 shooting through deceased protection have a 30% chance to obtain aptitude effect of Bone Eater. I really do like this M2. It just gives you the chance to be able to do some more damage. And then we have the M3 deceased protection can absorb additional damage equal to 50% of Cyrus's max HP. So you're going to have even greater damage absorption or damage reduction with that wall that you put up with the support skill. Then we move over to M4, increases the damage of aptitude effect to 7% of Cyrus's attack plus 33, so she's going to be able to do more damage. And then M6, deceased protection no longer has a time limit, only ending when it absorbs too much damage and breaks. So I do apologize, M5 is the only one, or M4, excuse me, is the only one that actually increases her own attack. M6 is actually going to allow her wall to be able to essentially be out there longer it's going to stay out there unlimited based on how much damage it takes that's the only thing that's going to break it so if it's not taking any damage that wall can be out there infinitely so i do like the manifestations i think they are very useful now if we go over to the neuronics at this time um she has some really good neuronics now of course because i believe she should be used as a support character primarily those are the two that i would focus on first and I would focus on this one first, increase the AoE of Deceased Protection by 50%, just a greater or larger wall you're going to be able to put up in front of you. So I think that's important. And then the second one, the wall now decreases the movement speed of targets within two and a half meters by 50%. So that way you can keep them in front of you and they can't really surround you and you're able to pick them off if they're trying to get too close. So I like these two in particular for the support. I would then move over to the ultimate. When birth dome disappears, restores HP to the protective operative equal to 20% of the remaining shield. We already talked about how much utility and how much the ultimate is doing. Now add on healing to it and you have a very OP ultimate in my opinion. Just such a well-rounded ultimate that's doing so much. And then if we go over to this one, the last one, Birth Dome simultaneously protects all operatives. So no matter who you take out, they're going to have the ultimate or that shield protecting them. Now, the top, obviously, the top two are going to be for increasing her own damage. Once again, you can go this route if you want to make her more of a main damage dealer. When equipped with the kinetic weapon, increases aptitude damage of Bone Eater dealt to shield by 50%. So she's going to be melting shields. And then the second one here, when initial blessing turns into reborn eyes, Cyrus instantly reloads one bullet. This is good for shotgun users. We all know they don't have the largest magazine or clip. So having an instant reload on a bullet could be the difference between whether you kill an enemy or not. So I think this is a, a pretty good one, a decent one. But once again, I believe she's more of a support. That's where she's best fit. So I would go with the two support skills and then the ultimate and then focus on the damage ones afterwards. So all in all, I think she's a phenomenal operative. I think they did such a good job with this four star operative. Um, she's just extremely well rounded and she's offering so much utility and she's extremely unique from what we have in the game currently. She does things that no other operative can do. And she does it all in one package. And once again, I think she's very universal. She could be slotted into any team. And if you put her alongside a main damage dealer and then another support, like a healer, the main damage dealer or the main DPS is just not dying. There's just no way that that damage dealer is dying. If you put her alongside like Quiet Quitter Yao, the four star, with let's say the main damage dealer being Chersing, 
there's no way that your thing is going to be dying by any means it's just it's too much damage reduction and it's too much healing especially if you have that neuronic unlock for the healing on the ultimate it's just too much going on even that you can put her alongside like let's say a buffer like fenny and so now you can buff whoever the main damage dealer is let's say uh for example kaguya if you want to make her the main damage dealer put cyrus and fenny together with kaguya and uh kaguya is going to be doing very well so there's a lot of different team builds and team varieties that you can put together and once again i just love this character i think they did such a phenomenal job with their design and with their kit let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below i'm interested to see what you guys have to say and once again i uh do appreciate all of your support i really do and whenever i make a mistake you can be reassured that i will correct that mistake and i won't let it just sit on the channel by any means so anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do my name is cody you can call me further i'll see you all in the next one bye guys